Today, I went to a bunch of different stores and bought a lot of Funko Pops. And it starts with Mastermind Toys. And honestly, guys, since last time I was here, the section has upgraded. And it seems like they got a lot of the figures that also have chases that go along with them. Because I know Black Adam has one, as well as Oswald, Selena Kyle, and then I remember the Wasp does. I don't believe Ant-Man does, though. And then they also have a bunch of the Disney Villains Mystery Minis for 10 bucks each, which isn't too bad. And I'm debating on getting one of the newer ones. I already have Cad Bane. I don't have this Mando or Grogu, but the problem is there's just so many of these guys guys now. So the question is, if I am going to get anything, which one do I get? Y you know, you know, it wasn't as cool as I thought it was going to yeah, be. Didn't go away. And now, of course, I've got to check the Pokemon because you never know. They could have some of the new pops here and I'm not seeing any, but they do have a lot of the Scarlet and Violet cards, which I am kind of debating on picking up a few. But no, no, no. We got to look for the pops today, even though I really want to. Now, the next place that we came over to is the Dollarama because I haven't been to one in a little while and they might have some new pops. And it looks like we have Infinity Killmonger. We also have Player 67, Kingo. Okay, maybe I stand corrected. Okay. Okay, so maybe they didn't have any pops, but it was worth a try. Okay, now everybody, we have made it over to the mall where there is a couple different locations and they had some new pops last time, so fingers crossed there's more today. And just like that, everybody, we made it. And now in the front window, check this out. Noah, did you want this one? Probably. And then look guys, right beside that, they have the Ron, Harry, Hagrid, and Hermione moment. I gotta get that. And now taking a look at the normal section, it seems like they have a lot of different stuff. I mean, they have most of the new Demon Slayer ones, some Five Nights at Freddy's. We've also got Star Wars, the Bob's Burgers, movie, Shazam, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And there was another one that I wanted to show you guys that was back here too. Ah, the Kuragiri. Now, I'm still debating on getting this one. I don't know yet. I mean, it's so cool, but like I mentioned a little while ago, there's like about six or seven in this set. It would be tough to get all of them. And then take a look at this, guys. Here, we've got a bunch of the brand new Batman ones from The Flash, as well as The Flash, as well as Spider-Man, and some new WWE. Um, no, I'm going to be honest. I can't get them with one hand here. I've got the camera. Could you? Okay, so I figured, plus you want that one anyway, so you might as well hold it. But uh, could you grab the Kaido there so I can get the big the, one? Oh, I think Well, I do. I'm going for this guy down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's falling. Okay, careful. See, that's why we need an extra hand. I mean, come on. We'll take a better look when we get back to the office, but this thing's amazing. And I got to say, guys, they have a pretty good amount with, I believe, yeah, one of every pop, as well as, I think, one of every one of the action figures, as well as a bunch of the tie-dye plush. And over here, these ones are the reversible ones. Now, the question is, am I going to get any? Maybe. And then everybody here at the back, it looks like they do have some new stuff with the two twisted ones, as well as some ham. Hamilton. We also have the four pack of Iron Maiden. And then down here, the one that I'm debating on because I've never seen these characters in person, it is the Ariel and Friends from the brand new live action film. And it says here that deluxe ones are $29.99 to $39.99. And I'm guessing it's probably going to be this way, but hey, you know what? It's a pretty detailed figure. I think I'm going to have to get it. Oh, and then you know what? Up here, guys, it looks like they do have some of the newer albums. You've got Sir Mix a Lot, as well as Alice Cooper, Notorious B.I.G., Tupac, and then way up at the top there, the giant deluxe album of TLC. That one's pretty cool to see. Alrighty, so now let's get into what I got over at the mall. And I think I want to start with GameStop because I ended up getting two things while I was there. And I'm sure you guys can guess what they are because the first thing was actually for my brother Noah and it was the Big Mama. Honestly, a pretty great figure. And this one, if anybody's wondering on the price here, was $35.99, actually the exact same price as Kaido, maybe even a dollar more. The reason I say that is because Kaido is more of like an eight inch figure with an even bigger box than this one. It is a really well done figure. And I'm not saying that this one isn't well Done. Let's actually take a look. Yeah, I mean, wow, guys, this thing is crazy, especially with the way that Funko did the hair and how it's kind of translucent. Well done. And now, of course, my brother knows better than I do, but still an amazing character to have. And then after that, I picked up the biggest figure of the day, or I guess you could say figures because I got the Harry Potter moment. Honestly, one of the craziest pops I've seen in a while. And it's also, I believe, well, no, I was going to say the most inside of one of these deluxe moments, but I guess with the concerts, it would have been very simple. Similar. But still, it is a close one, and I honestly really enjoy this. It might be a, my second favorite. We'll go with that. Just because, of course, the elf one is my favorite. I think this one, yeah, we'll give it second. And now, of course, we have to take a look at this one out of the box because there is a lot of detail, and I really do enjoy these small things Funko added to it. If I could get it out of here. Alrighty, everybody, there we go. Now, let me see if I can get the wrap off of this thing so we can see it without that bit of a glare, you know? Ooh, I love the smell of fresh vinyl, and you can definitely smell it when you take this off. I mean, come on, guys. That 
that looks amazing. And if you guys want to take a look at the four of them a little bit closer up, here we are. I love how Ron and Harry are sitting on the bench. We've got Hagrid with his dragon egg, and then Hermione waving her hands on the side. If I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know why she's doing this. I'd have to rewatch the movie. But still, an amazing set to have, and I'm liking how they didn't actually make them like separate vinyl things, but they are at least 3D in the back, so it looks nice. And also something kind of cool is it says down here at the bottom, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone 2001, the year that I was born, which is pretty crazy to think about. But anyways, definitely a cool thing to find. And also, I believe this is newer on the top. They added the pop logo. I don't remember that on the other ones. And also, I didn't show it in the store. So if you guys want to take a look on the back side here, it's pretty interesting because it almost looks like you're in a theater with like people at the bottom. And then it's got the curtains all around the outside. Okay, now let's get into what I got over at Sunrise Records, which was also over at the mall. And I think we'll start with the action figure first. I ended up grabbing the Circus Freddy. I felt like if I was going to get one of them, this was the one to get. And I know they did have every single one, and I wasn't planning on getting them all today, so that's why I grabbed this. But if you guys would like to see a hunt where I do all of the Five Nights at Freddy stuff that recently released, let me know, because I could totally do that. Oh, and I'm also still on the hunt for that massive Freddy Fazbear action figure. If I could find that in the video, that would be amazing. And now, before I crack this one open, if you guys want to see the back with all of the other characters, here they are. And just like that, everybody, there we go. We've got the Circus Freddy. And I gotta say, this is a really well-done action figure. I also like how they made it look like his hammer is a balloon. I mean, come on, that's pretty perfect. The only problem I'm having with these figures is that I still don't know what they're for. Like, why did they make all of these circus figures? I haven't been able to figure it out. A lot of people have been saying maybe it's just for fun because they're supposed to kind of look like Balloon Boy, but besides that, I really have no clue. But like I said, though, still a really great figure, and I will definitely be getting more of these in the future. And then the other one that I got over at Sunrise was the one that I really did not expect to find today. It was the Ariel and Friends for the brand new live action, The Little Mermaid. And also before I pop it out of the box, if you guys want to check out the back, we do have Ariel, Prince Eric, Ursula, and King Triton, figures that I have never seen in person before, but cool to see on the back. And so now I guess it's time. Let's take this one out and find all of the characters on here. And I believe the three of them would be Scuttle, as well as Sebastian and Flounder. And I don't think there's any others. No, it doesn't look like it, but it seems like you've actually got to take, there we go. I mean, at least I think it's Scuttle. It's kind of hard to tell because it is live action, of course. Also, if I'm going to be honest, I don't know if we've seen Scuttle in the trailers or maybe I just missed him, but I believe it's only been one trailer so far and we haven't. So that is probably him. I would think so. Anyways, and another thing that I was going to say is I feel like when it gets closer to the movie releasing, it's probably going to be hard to find these guys, so I'm glad I'm getting them now. And then the last place that we would have went to today was over at the comic book store. And if I'm going to be honest, when I went in there last time, they really didn't have much that I was looking for, but they upgraded their section a lot since I was there. And the figure that I ended up grabbing was another kind of like, you know, cover-sized one. I'll show you guys here. I'm sure you guys can probably guess out of these ones, though. I ended up going for the Batman comic cover, a really nice one, because it is one of the only versions of Batman that we've got where he's actually got his cape in the front. And it was also $34, which I believe is pretty reasonable. I mean, they had other ones for $29.99, so it's just like a little bit more than that, and I'm guessing it was probably because it was exclusive. Oh, and also, we're gonna have another sticker coming off here, so I'll probably just stick it to the back of the box like usual. You know, before I forget, let me do that now. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, all of the stickers are actually on the kind of like plastic wrap they put on the outside, so I just take those off and then whack them onto the back of of the box. I actually got the idea from Blake's Pop Nook over on TikTok if you guys want to check him out. But yeah, there's always like a nice little spot there and you could totally just like whack that on. It's much nicer that way because I feel like in the future I'm probably going to forget where they were exclusive to and then have to like look it up or figure it out. So just having it on the box, it makes it a lot easier. And now everybody, if you guys want to take a look at the Batman, here it is. Like super, super detailed. I'm liking it a lot. And then also with the cover in the background, I feel like this would look amazing on a shelf. I'm just going to be honest. I don't know what shelf I would put this on. And well, everybody, there we go. That is all of the stuff that I picked up today. And please let me know in the comment section below what is something that you would have got if you came on the hunt with me. Because I feel like there was a lot of other figures that I didn't pick up that I know that you guys are going to be like, why didn't you get this? Why didn't you get that? Well, these are the ones that I wanted to grab. And so anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video and I'll see you tomorrow.